from our five senses. Our souls interpret the information and makes decisions accordingly. That's the information, I mean, the exercise I just engaged us in. Now, if the diet of our souls only consists of happy meals from the McDonald's of life, we're in serious trouble. We're not getting all the information or nutrients we need to think right. And this type of diet makes us overweight and cardinal and erroneous thinking. And the more cardinal-minded we are, the more power we give our flesh. Our minds must be able to receive information from the Holy Spirit because it is the overwhelming information we receive in our minds that convince us to do the things that we do or the things we don't do. So higher level thinking fueled by wrong information will lead to higher level wrong thinking. And therefore, we must be vigilant in our uh, mental eating habits and yielding to the Holy Spirit. Right thinking prevents us from grieving and quenching the Holy Spirit. Grieving the Holy Spirit has to do with our character. It is a result of when our character is out of alignment with God. Quenching the Holy Spirit has to do with power. The word quenching means to choke off the flow. So quenching comes when we cut off the flow of the power of God in our lives, our ministry and our witnessing. It is cutting off where God is present and working through the Holy Spirit and replacing it with our presence and our work. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 out of the New Living Translation says, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's spirit. It all sounds foolish to them and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. Those who are spiritual 